What's up everyone, this is Lolly Talk is Tech, and Apple just released iOS 11.2 Beta 4 to developers today. Let's get started. So I'm going to be going over some bug fixes, some bugs that are in this update, and also some new features and changes. So the first thing I want to talk about is the release date of this beta. So this beta was released on a Friday, most likely because Thanksgiving is next week. Apple's employees are most likely going to be off then, or at least taking a break, which is why the beta was most likely released today. And on top of that, yesterday iOS 11.2 was released to the public to fix a really weird error on the iPhone 10. So basically what ended up happening was, if the phone was in a cold environment, the screen would not respond to touch so that's why that update was released so way people with an iPhone 10 could use their phone so that's been fixed so the first thing I'm going to be talking about is performance so performance on this beta update is decent it's not as good as the last one the last update was actually pretty good but I'll be getting into all that in a bit so the first thing I want to go over is still the widget panel lag the widget panel is still really laggy it has improved because I noticed Apple actually did make the widget panel slightly more usable so what I noticed is when you swipe over to the widget panel that animation is really laggy but once you're in the widget panel it's no longer laggy until you swipe back to get that animation again so whereas before it was laggy the whole time you're using the widget panel so it's just that last and beginning animation of activating the widget panel. Also there's a glitch where when you're playing music on your iPhone it usually says iPhone at the top if this music is coming out of the speakers on your iPhone but when you plug in headphones usually that changes to headphones. So you can see that I'm playing music right now and I plugged in headphones and it should say headphones at the very top so that is a glitch in this update not really sure why that is but that is a glitch it's not really that bad of a glitch luckily and another glitch in ios 11.2 beta 4 is users that have an iphone 10 are reporting that when they open up the app store and buy something it says you have to enable touch id when the device doesn't even have a fingerprint scanner so it should say face id this is just a funny typo on apple's part no biggie because it still works and everything you just use face id and something i want to go over in the last update that was fixed in this one is that in ios 11.2 beta 3 there were misrepresented numbers when given the battery usage and standby a lot of users with the iphone 10 actually got good battery life but everyone else pretty much got trash battery life but the usage time and standby time would be off which is slightly odd some phones would even say two or three days it was kind of weird but that's been fixed and something i just want to talk about is battery life in the past update was absolute trash my battery drains so much and thankfully i can say that this update has improved a little bit but it's not as well as it used to be in the past so i'm glad it's improving but it's still not the greatest so that does stink but at least it's improving over time and over these updates which is the overall end goal we just want to see improvement performance is also pretty good there are a few stutters here and there it's the the performance is slightly worse than the last update there are more stutters and stuff within the animations but it's not as often as you'd think but sometimes I'll notice when I swipe up from the control center, it won't work. Or when I click the home button inside an app, it won't go immediately or just won't even register. So it is kind of laggy and user input sometimes is not registered on the device the first time, which I've noticed. It's kind of odd. This might just be my device, but it never really happened on a beta before. So just be aware of that if you are updating. Now, there is one more glitch I want to mention in iOS 11.2 beta 4. It's kind of strange, and it was also existing in iOS 11.2 beta 3. So the glitch is basically I'd be doing my work, my schoolwork or whatever, and I'll just get a call from my voicemail. Now, it's really weird because my phone doesn't actually vibrate and stuff. All it does is my screen turns on and just says, I missed a voicemail. And you can see that this is what the screen looks like right now. So my phone would just be off and then it would turn on with the screen and then it'd go back to off again. So it was really weird. I get a call from my voicemail. And then what I do is I gotta check the voicemail, see what it actually said. I don't know, maybe it said something. And I tap on voicemails and nothing comes up. So it's a really strange and odd glitch. Not really sure what that is, but this also happened in the last beta and it's still happening again. So hopefully that is addressed. It's not really a big deal. It's just kind of strange, but that's about it for today. Thank you so much for watching. And just so all of you know, I'm back to uploading a lot again, just because I was so busy with school and stuff. I had to bring up a lot of grades and all that stuff, but I'm finally back because I do have a break. Thankfully, it is Thanksgiving break, so I get an entire week off, which is awesome. Thank you so much for watching. As always, peace.